our next community group is like, listen, guys, here's my thing. The sign-up sheet's in the back, and you sign your name however you want to, and I get it. You want to sign something that's like crazy and new and something that everybody's going to pay attention to, just sign your fucking name, all right? Because this is, this is what happens otherwise. I have to announce the next person coming to the stage, and this is what I have to announce. Everybody give it up for your next comedian, Thunder Negro. Yeah! Hi. <laughs> All right, I want to thank the comedians who went on before me. That was a really intricate sound check. How's everybody doing? Don't care. Don't care. According to my sister, I'm a fucking weirdo. I'm insulin insensitive. The blue and red term is transgender sensitive. <laughs> Do we have any Native American basketball coaches here tonight? No, I can't. I can't see up there. I hang out at coffee shops a lot. Mostly just waiting for the opportunity that somebody comes up to me and asks me to watch this stuff and they go to the bathroom. Yeah, Thunder. <laughs> yeah, I watch your stuff. I've been watching your stuff. <laughs> You're more drunk than I am. Oh yeah? Oh yeah. I can't see you, but by the sound of your voice, you sound really horny and old. I think at the barber school, they need to teach them how to give the flight attendant briefing. Like, please put your arms and legs inside the seat, or else I'm gonna walk by and rub my nuts against your elbow. <laughs> I like to party a lot, I don't know if you guys can tell. But I'm always going to these parties that get busted. The cops always show up and they knock on the door. Yeah, we got a report that somebody was yelling Jenga. Hey Jesus, what you doing over there? They got, they're, they're, they're gonna make a Tetris movie. And I'm really glad about that. Because if I was playing Tetris in like real life, I would just like let it come down on my face and then try to do a line of coke off of it. Hold still hell. What am I doing with my life? <laughs> um, fucking all the Walmarts in, in Central Phoenix or, or Ghetto, they only sell bootleg shit. So like you go in there, there's always like a homeless guy pushing his own cart and he just starts putting shit back. He's like, I don't need this razor scooter. I think it's really rude when people are on their fucking cell phone when you're at the movie theater. And like, it gets so glaring and shit. So that's why I sit out in the front with my iPad and I start streaming the bootleg version of the movie 10 minutes ahead. So I can tell everybody what's about to happen. Dude, you know what? I don't come to your job and start throwing french fries at you, so shut the fuck up. <laughs> I like to play, guess what that fucking license plate means? 3BR, 2BD? I don't know. 3-bedroom, three, 2-bath? Three oh, that sounds nice. I'll take that one. I ride the bus a lot, and every time I ride the fucking bus, there's always, like, people who come up to me, like, excuse me, have you, have you accepted Jesus? And I'm like, oh man, I was about to ask you the same thing. <laughs> Everybody, can we can we just stare at him? Cause he looks he looks really cool. Woo! Coming out with Hot Topic 2012 outfit. We got this douchebag. Two for one sale. I really I really appreciate Chinese people's enthusiasm for karaoke. I know a Chinese family and their favorite song is FreeCreditReport.com. <laughs> I'm really fancy. I like to go to fancy restaurants. And I like to order off the menu. Like, excuse me, waiter. Yeah, I'll start off with a Safeway Chester Select Cola. <laughs> Is Pepsi okay? I don't know. Is it okay if I tip you a pieces? <laughs> Does 
anybody share a Coke with their friends? <laughs> you shouldn't share a Coke with your friends. That's like sharing a CD. Because when I drink a Coke, I like to tongue fuck that fucking can. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sometimes I like to go to the Jack in the Box in Mesa specifically because I like to be called sir by a reformed gang member. <laughs> <laughs> I like to call those phone sex hotlines, but I always feel like I'm getting ripped off because I ejaculate prematurely. <laughs> so to get my money's worth, I figured I'd invite some friends over, put that shit on speakerphone, and then we'll run the train on this bitch. I think retarded people need Facebooks. <laughs> because, I mean, they need to get out, you know? They need to, they kind of know what's going on. I don't know, I didn't have anything to follow that. <laughs> so I was on the bus one day, and like, there was this retarded guy, and he was like all by himself. And like, he like sits a couple seats in front of me, and next to him there's this lady with her children. And eventually he pulls out like this little porno magazine and he starts masturbating. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna let this one play itself out. <laughs> I don't need to be the hero, okay? I like at the Greyhound, you could get like refundable tickets or non refundable tickets. I like to get the refundable tickets because I like to think that somebody might come and try to stop me from leaving. <laughs> I lived in Central Phoenix, it's really ghetto, and uh, I was hanging out with my friend, and we went to his house, and like the door was open, he didn't, he didn't leave it open, it was just like that, and then like his couch was missing, and his TV was missing, and then there was like half a pizza on the table, and he's like, fuck, I can't believe somebody checked all my shit, and I'm like, nobody broke in, dude, it's DiGiorno. <laughs> mm. I learned this trick from one of my ghetto friends, it's called Baraka Nachos. It's basically when you could get everything you could get, I said that twice, with fucking food stamps and you put it on a plate, you put it in the microwave, Baraka Nachos. <laughs> there you go, try it. There's all these hotline lawyers always trying to rehash old shit. Like, do you have chronic neck pain? You might have TNS, otherwise known as Taco Neck Syndrome. You don't want to go through with that, because that's going to backfire. You don't want to be in court against a billion dollar company that's just going to prove that you're really good at sucking dick. <laughs> what's, the, what's the etiquette on dining, dining and ditching? Yeah. I mean, do you still got a tip? Like, what's 15% of nothing? In high school, I was voted most likely to whip my dick out on stage. <laughs> but I'm out of time. Thank you. I'm Thunder Negro. All right, everybody. All right. I think that's my time. I'm not even sure. Thank you. Thunder <laughs> Negro, who ran a fucking mile wandering around this guy on stage. This is. Your entire set was like a family circus cartoon with a bunch of little dots. <laughs> all over the place. <laughs>